Hi guys and welcome back. We are now in um, February. We've started the month of February and so who can tell me what holiday is in February? Do you know? It's the holiday of love and we call it Valentine's Day. That's a pretty long word. Let's try and say it again. Valentine's Day. Good. And so all this month we will be talking about um, Valentine's and telling people um, who you love, how much you love them. And we will be doing Valentine's activities and reading Valentine's books for the whole month of February. So I hope you enjoy them. The book that I have for us today is called Love Bug. So it's about a bug who is trying to find love. And so, in this book, um, he goes around at night, he's looking for um, somebody to give him a hug, and he spends all the next day trying to find somebody um, to give him a hug, and into the night. And so, I know in your classroom, um, in the early education classrooms here, we are talking about day and night this week. So, if you've been following along on the Google Classroom, they've had some activities for day and for nighttime. And so we're going to talk about this bug and how he's looking for love at night. And he spends all day trying to find it until the next night. And then when we're done reading our book and talking about day and night, then we're going to do a little activity where we talk about what we see in the daytime and what we see in the nighttime. And then when we get finished with that activity that I'm going to upload to the Google Classroom um, and to our Facebook group, then I have another video that's going to be after this one, and it is a demonstration of me doing a game on the boom cards, and with that game, we also talk about things that you see during the day or at night. So it'll have a picture up, and you'll have to click if you think it, you see it in the nighttime or if you see it in the daytime. So there will be a link to that game that um, your mama, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, your daddy, grandma, whoever can help you click that and then you can go play that game um, or you can play along with me and watch my video as we play it together. All right, so we will go ahead and get started with our book, Love Bug. And this book, if you can't tell, has a little heart and it is squishy, it's soft. It's not hard, it is soft. Kind of like those squishy toys y'all play with. All right, this is Love Bug. It says, once there was a love bug who was looking for a hug. So he fluttered off to find himself another lonely bug. All right, let's look at this picture here. This picture, it shows it's very dark outside and I'm seeing these look like some stars. So I'm seeing stars and it's dark outside. So who can tell me, is this the day or the night? Is this bug flying around in the day or at night? It's nighttime, right? How did you know that? How did you know it was nighttime? Because you looked at your picture and you saw it's dark and there are stars and it's dark outside at night and you see stars at night. Very good. He saw a speedy lightning bug as pretty as can be. But before he could say hi to her, she flew off with a wee. See, she's too fast for him, but now look what happened. Now the sky is nice and light and blue. So do you think it's still nighttime? Or do you think it's daytime now? Yeah, it's daytime. Yep, so he searched all night, couldn't find anybody, and now he's in the daytime, and he's looking, but he still can't find anybody. It says he found an artsy doodle bug and tried to say hello, but the bug was busy drawing, so the love bug just turned to go. What is she drawing? A heart. Very good. And what color is that heart? Is it blue or red? It's red, great job. All right, it says the litter bug was messy and she threw too much away. And the sneezing little flu bug, well, he felt too ill to come and play. She felt too ill to come and play. Look at her, what's wrong with her? You think she's okay or do you think she's sick? Yeah, she's sick. She's got a thermometer. That means she's running a fever. She's sick. She needs to stay home. 
So, he went to see the Beatles and danced the jitterbug. But then he heard, I hate to bug you, but I'm looking for a hug. Look, he found a friend so that he's not lonely. Somebody who will give him a hug. Another love bug just like him. So he flew all day. And now look, we're back to the dark sky with, what is that? The moon, right? Because you see the moon at night. And stars. Moon and stars. It says, love bug told the ladybug, you're the bug for me. And with a hug, the bugs were both as snug as bugs could be. There we go. Did you like my little story about the love bug who was looking for a friend? He searched all night and all day to find that friend. All right, now we're going to talk about some things that we can see at night or during the day, okay? So who can tell me, do we see the sun at night or during the day? During the day, good. So when do we see the moon? Do we see the moon during the day? No, not really. Sometimes right when the sun is going down, you can see the moon. But when do you normally see the moon? Do you see the moon at night? Yes. So those are two big things you see. Um, you see the moon at night and the sun during the day. What else do you see during the day when you're out during the day? Or what are some things you do during the day? Well, let's look at our pictures and see what we think here. We have some clouds, some white fluffy clouds. Then we have a rainbow. We have a rooster. We have a moon. We have a sun. We have a bed. We have an owl and a bat. Now, who can tell me something about the owl and the bat? Do the owl and the bat sleep at night? No, they don't. When do the owl and the bat sleep? They sleep during the day. You're right. So we usually only see them at night because they're asleep all day. But what about the rooster? Does the rooster sleep during the day? No, the rooster is usually the one that wakes you up in the morning. What does the rooster say? That's right. He says, cock-a-doodle-doo. -doo. So the rooster is in the daytime, but the owl and the bat are at night because they sleep all day. All right, so I'm going to get my scissors, and I'm going to cut these pictures out. And you can get your sheet, and we can work on this together. Alright, I'm going to describe a picture to you, and I want you to get it for me, okay? Here we go. I am looking for something that we sleep in. Do you see the picture of something that we sleep in? You do? What is it? What do we sleep in? A bed? Very good, you're right. We do sleep in a bed. Here's my picture of my bed. Do you have your picture of your bed? Great, and who can tell me, do we sleep in a bed at night or during the day? Yeah, we mostly sleep in our bed at night. Every once in a while you might take a nap. But we do most of our sleeping in our bed at night. So I am going to glue my bed under my night, my moon. So the moon column is nighttime. See, it starts with the N, 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 night. And the sun is where I'm going to put all my day stuff. And that starts with a D, 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 day. Very good. All right, let's see. Now I'm looking for something. Ooh, this is colorful, and 
it has all different colors in it and you see it after it rains. What am I looking for? A rainbow! Great! You're so smart! You have your rainbow here? Good. When do we see a rainbow? I just said it a minute ago. We see a rainbow after it rains, right. But can you see it at night? Mm -mm. So when do you see a rainbow? During the day! Awesome! So I'm going to put my rainbow in my column with the daytime. And there it is. Got one for day and one for night. All right now I'm looking for um, something that is black and he flies. He's black and he flies. It's not the owl. What is it? It rhymes with cat. It's a bat. Now, remember I told you that the bat sleeps during the day. So, when do you think you would see a bat? If he's asleep all day long, when are we going to see him? At night. Very good. Y'all are so smart. So, we're going to put the bat in the night column. Very good. All right, now I'm looking for... something that you see in the sky and it's white and fluffy. What do you think it is? White and fluffy and you see it in the sky. Clouds, you're right. We see clouds in the sky and sometimes clouds are in the sky at night. But when do you see white fluffy clouds? During the day, that's right. You see the white, fluffy clouds during the day. So I am going to glue them onto my day. Very good. Now I'm looking for this animal, and this animal says, cock a doodle doo! And he lives on a farm. What is he? Yeah, he's not a chicken. He's called a rooster. You know why he's called a rooster? He's a boy, and he is supposed to wake you up early in the morning by saying cock-a-doodle-doo. So, when do you see a rooster then? If he wakes you up in the morning time by saying cock-a-doodle-doo, would you see him during the day or at night? It's during the day, right? Because he wakes up in the morning, and he, then he makes sure you wake up. All right, there we go. Now, let's see. I'm looking for another animal, our last animal, and this animal says, hoo, hoo. Yeah, you guessed it. It's an owl. Very good. And remember, the owl, just like the bat, sleeps all day long and gets up at night. So, when do you see an owl? At night, right. So that's when he's up flying around. You might hear him sometimes outside. So I am going to put my owl in the night. Sometimes when you're trying to go to bed, you might hear them outside talking to you. All right, we got two left. Let's see, this time I am looking for, oh, I am looking for something that um, is white and it's round and it has stars all around it. What am I looking for? The moon, right. When do we see the moon? When do you see the moon the most? During the day or at night? At night. Good job. All right, I'm gonna put it here and that means we just have one left and that is what is left. It's a circle and it's yellow and it's hot. It is the sun. And of course we see the sun during the day or night. 
during the day. You got it. So I'm going to glue my sun on the daytime. And there is our picture of day and night. So the things that we see in the day and the things that we see at night. So you can talk about these with your family. And then when you play our game that I'm going to give you the link to, these will be some of the same pictures. You're going to see these same pictures. And you're going to say whether you see them at night or during the day. You're going to click either night or daytime. And it will tell you if you got it right, it will give you a circle. And if you got it wrong, it will give you an X. All right. So go and practice and talk about day and night. And I will see you all next week. Bye, guys.